And now let's move on to next session, which is tone rules. Now tone rules, I will not show you any website. I will just show you the chart right away, and I will tell you how I will I will teach you how to use it. Like not this one. Uh, tone rule. Okay, here. This is the tone rule chart for Thai language. And obviously, you can go to the website and find uh, look up this kind of chart. And for me, I just write it down, and always ready in case I because right now I don't realize I I don't memorize I don't memorize this kind of chart. I will keep. Using it, using this chart. When I have a word, I will break down the sound. I will look up the chart and figure out the sound. I figure out the tone. I don't memorize this chart. I memorize through application. I memorize through application. So let's talk about how this chart works and how to read this chart. So this is a Thai tone chart. A chart. In when we study Thai consonants, I tell you to memorize the tone class of each consonant, and it matters because it affects the tone of a syllable. So this is maybe I should use red because I cannot see it clearly. Yeah. Much better. <clears throat> so this is the tone class. This column will be the tone class. We have high, we have mid, we have low. Tone class, tone class, not tone, not the tone of a syllable, but the tone class of this consonant. Tone class we have three: high, mid, low. The second one. The other, the other columns would tell you if, let's say, we have a particular tone class, and in which case, in which case, will give you which sound. So, for example, um, wait, how can I? I want to make one more. Circle, but day. Okay, here. So let's say we have. Let's say we have low class. We have low class consonant plus. Um, actually, before I show you the example, let's go through column by column. What What do you mean by that? Life, death, and what are these symbols? So these symbols are tone marks. Tone marks. Tone marks. Maybe I will show you um some example, example how they look like in the Thai text. In the Thai text, but we have four tone marks. This one, that one, this one, that one, and each of them for for each for each Thai consonant class. If we have different tone marks, they give you different tone tonality of a syllable. So this is the tone marks. Sometimes tone marks don't appear in the Thai words. It doesn't have to be appear in the Thai words. If they if they don't appear in Thai words, we will uh, determine the tonality. By uh, figuring out is it live sound or is it dead sound? For dead sound, we further divide it into two categories: short vowel and long vowel. Example: What is live? Live sound means for each syllable, you can elongate, elongate the last, the ending sound. You don't get an ending sound. Example in English. The English T 
two words mum mum and dad mum and dad mum is like has life ending dad has dead ending <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, I I'm not saying uh, I, I I just focus on the language, the pronunciation only. It doesn't carry any other meanings. Okay, so mom, the word mom has life ending. What do you mean by that life ending? It it means that you can lengthen the final sound m with m o m. You can lengthen the m sound, the final m sound mom. Mum. Okay, but for that, you cannot lengthen the D sound because it is a a、uh, one one time one time air out sound. That that you cannot force it because it it sounds very weird. That it doesn't make any sense. That. You cannot elongate the sound, so that means、uh, the dead. The word "dead" is a dead ending. Dead ending. You cannot elongate elongate the sound for life ending. You can. So, dead ending. We have short vowel and long vowel. Um. So that means if we have a Thai consonant, and for the ending consonant, for the ending consonant is a that a a give you the that ending, then you need to, uh, uh, um. You you need to find out whether it is a short vowel. This syllable, uh. The for the vowel is it short or long? If it is short plus that ending, we have a particular tone rules. If it is a long vowel plus that ending, we have another column of tone rules. So that's how we, uh, so so how do we read this chart? If let's say we have a syllable, the consonant is uh is a mid class is a mid class consonant. It is a dead sound, and we find out it is a long vowel in this consonant,、uh, in this syllable. Then the tone of the whole thing, the whole syllable, is low. Is low. I talk a lot. Why don't we just go through some real example? And here. I hope you can still see the chart. So we have two words, two words, two examples. So for the first one, <coughs> for the first one, first of all, how do we break down the whole word into syllables? How do we do that? Basically, if you study Thai consonant, if you're very familiar with Thai consonants and Thai vowels, you will know how to split it. But sometimes you will get it wrong. But it doesn't matter. Most of the time, I think eighty percent of the time you get it right. So for me, I break it this way. Maybe I can put here so that it's more clear. And then this one. So why break this one? Just a little bit tips for you, for this sound. This is sla ah、uh, sla ah.、Uh, it never appears at the beginning of each syllable. So that's how I know I must break it this way. So we have three. Counts a、uh, three syllables in this word. Three syllables. So let's find out the tone of each syllable. For the first one, we have "kao kai," not "kao kai." "Kao kai," yeah, yes. "Kao kai sala i do de." "Kao kai sala i do de." "Kao kai." This is the 
initial consonant. This is a ending consonant. This is a vowel. Okay. Initial consonant. Call quai. It is low class. It is low class. If you're not sure, uh, refer to the consonant chart or uh, consonant chart, or go to the website and find out the tone of this word. It is low class. This is do de, do de. Now it is an ending consonant. So the ending sound of do de is t, is t sound. Remember. For each consonant, I tell you to memorize the tone class, initial sound, and final sound. So this time, the final sound of do de is t, is t. So t is a dead ending. Let's say cat again, cat. The word cat, c a t, cat. You cannot elongate the t sound, so it is dead, dead ending. Sala e vowel. Sala e. Is a short vowel, short vowel. If it is long, it is long. It is uh, we say e, and we have a little, we have a little thing. I mean, the spelling is uh, the spelling is a little bit different. I mean, in the sense of how we write the symbol. So here, low class, short vowel, dead end. For the to go to the chart. Low class, short vowel, dead end. So we have high sound. Kid, kid. So let's br let's bring everything together. Call quai, k sound. Start e, ki, ki. We add do de. Ending sound is t. So just say k i t. English k i t, kid. But we don't, we don't let the air out. Kit, we stop. Just, uh, just at the moment when we, uh, when we want to let the air out, but we stop it. We don't let the air out. Kit, kit, kit. Now we add the tone, high sound. Kit, 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 kit. So that's the sound of the syllable. Kit, call quai k sound sala e ki, and then. Do they give you T end, K I T, kit kit. Now we add the sound, add the tone, high sound, kit, boom. That's how we figure out the tone of this syllable. I know it's a complicated process, but if you practice, uh, if you practice again and again and again, the process will be a little bit quicker. Now the second syllable, second syllable, with two letters. Lolu, this is the initial and the only syllable, uh, only consonant in this in it this syllable. Low class consonant, sala a long vowel. Lolu, a la la. Or if you want to be very, if you want to be legit, actually for this consonant you need to do the rolling tongue. Dro the the la. I cannot do it, so I would just la, la. So let's figure out the tone. Lo lua is low class. So ah, uh, you can make the sound longer. So this is life end, life end, mid sound. La, la. That's it. The second one very similar to the second syllable. Call quai, sala ah. Call quai, sala ah. Call quai, low class, sala ah. You can make the sound longer. It is life end, so it is mid sound. Ka. So three syllables. The whole word is kit la ka, kit la ka, kit la ka. Boom. That's how you figure out the pronunciation. Let's move on to the second one, second word. I'll bring it this way. Why? Because 
this thing only appears at the beginning of each syllable. So I know I must break it this way. You know, I must I must break it this way. Two syllables in this case. The first one is a vowel. Again, I know is is a is a little bit complicated why the vowel is before the consonant. It doesn't make any sense, but this is Thai. This is Thai. So we first first of all we look at this consonant first. Consonant. This is the only consonant in this syllable. Mo ma low class. Low class here, low class. And then vowel. Vowel is this one. Sla i sla i sla i. However, this time, this time we we don't stop here because we have one more information, and that is we have a tone mark in this case. So the tone, if there is a tone mark, we look at the tone, uh, the column, the tone mark column. So we have the tone mark. This one, a little dot right here. This is low class. We have little dot, so it gives you falling sound. More ma, m sound. Mm, sa i, sa i, my falling sound. My, my, my. The second syllable. Again, we take a look at the initial consonant first. This one, po pan, po pan is low class, low class. So low class. Here we have an ending consonant, which is ngongu ngongu. The ending consonant does not determine the tone class, which is the initial consonant. So vowel we have sa e, the big one, e e e. Again, you can now we take a look whether it is a life or death. We look at the ending sound, ending sound. The ending consonant here is ngong wu, ng, 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 and here obviously we can lengthen the sound, ng, so it is life sound. And again, because we don't have tone marks, so we will use life or dead to determine the tone. The low class, life and. Mid sound, pang, pang. So the whole word will be my pang, my pang. Again, I don't know what they mean, but the uh, the only focus is we are only focusing on the pronunciation. So that's how we apply our knowledge, how we bring it together. Remember, we have three components. Consonant, vowel, and tone, and uh, tone rule. This is how we integrate everything we learn together and figure out the pronunciation of a Thai word. Again, if you're an English speaker and English is English is your first language, I know it's a little bit complicated because some of the sound uh, do not appear in your language, and how we write is also a little bit different. For example, we put vowel, we put vowel before the consonant, which doesn't make any sense in English. But uh, you gotta embrace this kind of uh, rule of that's that's language, that's language. You know, you gotta appreciate. Got the, the complexity, and I hope you will enjoy it. And I hope I, I can make you understand it because again, I'm terrible teacher. <laughs> I'm just a complete beginner. What I'm doing right now is just to share my thinking process. So this is how I practice my pronunciation. Uh, not pr practice my pronunciation, but practice how I practice my reading. How I read. The sound. If you give me a Thai word, I would do. F I would follow the same procedure. I would break down this, break down a word into syllable first, and then 
for each syllable, I will look at the consonant, I will look at the vowel, figure out whether it is a live sound, dead sound, dead sound, uh, is there any tone marks, and then I will look, I will look up the chart, tone chart, tone chart, and find the sound. So it, right now, I, I still need more time to practice this kind of thing. And I think in the future episode, some of them would be Thai pronunciation practice, where I would just do the same thing that I showed you before. So, I think that wraps up today's episode, JLP, Thai vowel, Thai pronunciation, Chung Wu, this is Jackson, and I'll see you in the next episode. Out.